Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a quick look at how to find statistics on the Casio FX Solar 2 calculator. To do this we'll be using the mode key, looks like that, and is located right here. The decimal or period key, looks like that, and is located down here. The shift key, located here, top, right, top left corner. The AC key, which is this blue one here, and the M plus key, which is down here in the bottom right corner. All right, now the first thing to do is change our calculator mode from its normal mode to SD or statistics mode. So to do this, press the mode key, you see mode in the top corner there, and then the decimal button. And now you'll see an SD in the top right hand corner there. This tells us our calculator is in statistics mode, and it won't work without this, so make sure you got SD in the top right hand corner there. Next thing we want to do is clear any old data so that we don't have anything contaminating what we're trying to do. So to do this, you press shift and then the AC key, which will do this SA function. Press that and we're good. You've cleared any old data on there. Next, we want to enter our data. So for this example, our data set will be 10, 10, 20, and 60. This can be distances, weights, whatever you want it to be. We'll start by placing the 10 on the screen. That's our first number. And then the M plus key, which adds a number to our data set. Press it once. And since we have two in there, we can just press it again. We've now entered both 10s. And then 20, M plus, and 60, M plus. We can check this by pressing uh, Shift 6 this one right here, which has the N above it. And this tells us how big our data set is. So right now we have a data set of four. Let's say we made a mistake and didn't want that 60 in our data set. Well, if we want to get rid of it, we can just press 60 and then use the shift of M plus, which is M minus, which takes something out of our data set. And then we can check to see if this works by pressing shift six again. Yep. Our data set now is three, so we've taken this one out. But in reality, we do want that in there, so I'll just put it back in. 60 M plus. All right, let's start looking at some statistics now. First one we'll look at is the mean. So to get this, we press Shift 7, and we see we get a mean of 25. All right, the next one we can look at is the population standard deviation. To do this, we press shift 8, which is sigma n, and this gives us 20.6155, etc. And if we want to get the population variance, all we have to do is square this, and there we go, we get a variance of 425. Alright, and then we can do the sample standard deviation by pressing shift 9 which is the sigma n minus 1, and this gives us 23.80476, etc. And again, if we want that variance, we simply square it and get a variance of 566.666, etc. All right, we can also get a sum of values with the shift 5, which gives us 100, which we know is correct because 10 plus 10 plus 20 plus 60 is 100. And we can also get the sum of squares of values by pressing shift 4 and there we go 4200 all right so that covers all the basic statistics we can do with this calculator and when we're done it's a good idea to make sure we clear the data so we press shift ac again we see that goes to zero and we can confirm it's been cleared by pressing shift 6 we see we have zero items in the data set. And now that we're done and we want to go back to regular mode or, you know, normal calculations mode, all we press is on. We see the SD in the top right hand corner is gone and we're ready to do some calculations normally. 
All right. I hope this helps and good talk on those tests out there, everybody.